Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. This is Speak of the Joker, and today we are continuing Life is Strange True Colors, and we are continuing with Chapter 4. Chapter 4 today, I'm purple because I'm scared. I'm scared about what we will find. Um, one of our one of our channel VIPs, Batman396, asked in the chat right before we went live, did anything important happen last chapter, or was it just that role-playing game the whole time? And that is an excellent question. Here's here's what I remember. <laughs> it was like 95% the LARP game, which weirdly ended up being actually rather sweet, and I ended up enjoying it more than I kind of I was very I was complaining quite a bit, and then I and I turned it around because I said this is the game. Let me enjoy the game as it is and not how I want it to be because I really want to rush the murder mystery. But I do remember at the end, at the very end of that chapter. Or was it the chapter before? You know what? It actually doesn't matter when I learned this, but here's some things we know. That we oh, yeah, we cracked we cracked the USB drive and we listened to the voicemails and whatnot. So this was at the end and we we know that Mac did get the call and Mac put the information to the other lady who is in town. And for some reason, I forgot her name. Maybe Diane. I don't know. Is it Diane? The other lady that's in town. Um, and she went, reached her out to her superior and her superior was like, no, because we have this other project and it's got a code name that I completely forgot. I'm so well prepared for today, <laughs> but we'll, we'll, I'm sure I'm sure we'll talk about it immediately. A lot of these games have like a next time and then the last time. This one doesn't, and I wouldn't mind a last time. But the the project that they were hiding, I I was kind of as we were learning this real time. The comment that I was making is like this still doesn't make sense. Like you're gonna kill people for this, and and as it turns out, is those explosions we're hiding the timing of other explosions for this secret project. And in this game, uh, for those of you who, for some reason, if you're watching this for the first time and you haven't seen any other chapters, first of all, welcome. But um, we do have the ability to glow these different colors. These different colors represent different emotions because our character can read people's minds as it relates to their emotion. They can, she can read their emotional state and she can um, actually kind of inhabit their emotions and see the world as they do when they're experiencing very strong emotions. And that's those represented in colors. So there you go. That's what those um, things do. So based on the ending of last time, I believe we are going to dive right in and go straight. Actually, I hope let's put it this way. I'm going to pause the music. I hope. We go straight into the like finding what that other site is and the information they were hiding. We might confront both Mac and the other lady who I just called Diane earlier. <laughs> we'll see how close I am. Uh, I am dressed up the best I can as the character with my nose stud. Uh, this outfit she wore in chapter one and now she hasn't worn it since. But you know, what? I'm not changing just because she did. So let's uh I don't hear any game noise. There we go. I hear that. Yeah, we hear that. OK, and this is actually a controller game, but we're going to hit continue and we're going to find out how much of what I just said was accurate. Oh, not much, but I think I have the the kind of basic ideas right. So let's uh, let's see, because the LARP thing took up 80 percent of it, but it was it's not the most important this USB part. Drive. Oh, here we go. All the evidence you need to nail Typhon for Gabe's death and plenty more. All right. Bring it with you. I'll meet you in an hour. Oh, this is Thanks. the police guy. Talk soon. Oh, I hope she made copies. Citizens of Haven Springs. He could be bought and paid for. Spring Festival. One final reminder to head over to the Lathe flower cart and grab a rose before they're gone. At Haven's inaugural Spring Festival, eligible women of good stock and birthing age would offer up roses in order to attract a mate. What can I say? History is weird. Thankfully, we've lost the mating stuff, but kept the roses. 
And if you do have a special someone in mind, a rose is a great way to say you care. And an even better way to say, hey look, a rose. <laughs> Sounds fun. We it's like Steph. I wasn't sure if we were going to. I do. Oh, is it me? Maybe. Do I can decide downstairs. I I like Steph uh a lot. For now, I'll grab the USB stick. But I'm going to I'm going to say I'm going to say but. And usually but means whatever you just said is is not actually true. But I feel like the game is sort of pushing me into a romantic relationship one and a romantic relationship decision between Steph and the guy who I'm forgetting all of a sudden. Uh, memory is a little rusty today. So I don't like that because I want the choice of relationship or no relationship. I don't um, I don't want to have to be like, yeah, we're going hot dog. Um, I, I, I just Will don't want to have to date to the festival. Shoo shoo. I don't want that to be the theme. And she's even talking about the festival like, oh, I don't know if this is going to be similar to last time where I want to investigate my brother's death festival and we are doing other stuff. I don't know. I remember trying to pregame as a teenager and just it's very tempting to curl up with this all night instead of leaving my apartment. What is this? <laughs> Teenagers only. Are we a teenager? I'm thinking this will make an excellent after festival snack. I mean, put it in the fridge. I'm not much of a things need to be refrigerated immediately kind of guy, but take out. Hmm. Yeah. This one ornament will really bring my tree together. <laughs> Batman says we've got a mystery to solve. No time for some festival. Yeah, that's that's how I was feeling, too. You feel like an older teen? I, yeah, no, you're right. Of course, she is a teenager. Yeah, because she got out of the group home when she turned 18. Yeah, that. Yes, that's it. You're right. She is. She is a teenager. She's just. Ah, string lights. So much more level headed than I was. Cozy places subreddit. What are the chances your instruction manual is in here? For now, I'll grab the USB stick. Okay. I think the game wants me to grab the USB stick. What do you say? I wish I could have helped Shar, but taking her pain away didn't feel right. Oh, right. That's the other thing that happened. Um, Ethan's mom is having some like very, very I bad think guilt. I'll stick with Minesweeper from now on. I don't know if I don't know if postpartum is the right phrase, but it, it sounds like similar to that, except he's older. So I, I don't know. It, there's something going on with her and we didn't help her. <laughs> OK, time to head downstairs. Basically. I'm about ready to start my own list. Okay, leaky faucet. I've been meaning to tell Jed about the sink, but I'm afraid he'll try to teach me how to fix it myself. <laughs> That's actually really funny. Don't worry, I'll come back to you. Oh, she is like, oh, I get it. Okay, she's dressed up. I get it. Do we need like, are Man, any of these the things important? She gets dark. I'm sure Ethan will be fine. Wow. Uh, do we I've take the guitar more these past few weeks than the last few years? I feel the world really doesn't deserve Thanor. Oh, Alex, don't worry about me. The drive down south with my dad always makes me feel better. And we have a lot of plans for the summer. He said we could go camping and make ultra s'mores s'mores, but with ice cream on top. Uh, I'm sorry. How have I never heard of an ultra s'more? So that's now added to my list of things to eat. Uh, secret family recipe. The LARP was amazing. You're really good bard. I was a really good bard, true. And I hope we can do it again soon. I already have more ideas to fill out your backstory, Banshees. Thanks, Alex. Ethan. Wow, he's a great writer, too. Um, 
So he's with his dad. That's right. Um, do we go upstairs? All right. You know I what? I should really head down to the park. Never mind. We don't go upstairs. Can I wear my bard hat? All win the bard will ride again. Okay. So the game is, in fact, pushing us to go to this party, which is not much of a surprise. Um... We're going to go ahead and play um, one more time. I did very poorly last time. This is a little bit probably of like an Easter egg, right? That was not correct. Oh. Don't go up, don't go up. Okay. We got this. We got this. We got this. I'm really bad at this. This is, uh, it's like Pac-Man. And I'm really bad at Pac-Man. I'm guessing this kills him. Oh, good. Ooh. This. This is the way it goes here. We've got 5,000 points. Yeah, I'm really not good at this. So if the faster you beat it, or the faster you play it, the the kind of easier yep, oh, the easier it is because more and more ghosts spawn over time. This is gonna be close. This is not gonna be close because I meant to press up and I didn't. But you know what? I think it actually worked out better for me. Is there any benefit to taking the ghosts out? Okay, this is the level I think I lost on last time. Ooh, that was close. That's, that's, I'm pretty sure that's how I lost last time. Happy Mama Cow! Welcome to the show. I raided you. Well, you know this. But I'm letting the audience know. Raided you the other day after playing a little Slay the Spire. We love Slay the Spire. We're not very good at it, but we love it. And that raid coincided with them getting Ascension level 20 completed with their final character. Um, they sent me a message afterwards, which is really cool because I, I think my best character is level five. <laughs> oh, um, so we are, oh, that's not how that works. Uh, nope, that's not how that works either. Uh, I think we're not doing well. Okay, I am... What's a word for when you can't escape? <laughs> Trapped. It was glorious! Yes, well, I'm glad. Um, I'm glad I was a small part of that victory. I don't know how raiding you makes me a small part of it, but I, I just really want to take credit. Oh! Okay. Can I actually do this? Oh, maybe, maybe. Oh, no, maybe not. That was an error. How long do I have? Was I actually just successful? A am I actually good at this game? Ah, my nose is irritated from this. Nose dead. Okay. That's too far to fall. All right, what happens to this cart? Oh, well, <laughs> okay. All right, I just wanted to play one time. Uh, we did fine. Yes, we're leaving. We're actually, let's get back to the game. 
This is a good game. Let's actually play the game. I am uh, pretty terrible at that. Fall damage in a game like this? I know exactly, right? Yeah, fall damage. Uh, without the fall damage, I think I actually would have been fine. Okay, hopefully this scene is short. And, you know, no disrespect again to the game designers because they keep making test, test. good scenes. Check. Check. But I really. Check. I really want to solve the mystery Holy of what shit. happened. Holy shit. You own a skirt? Oh, she said that over the microphone. Hey, guys. That's pretty funny. Happy first spring fest. Ryan is Thanks. his name. I really hope the game does not force me pike. into a love situation. He'll be here soon. Once he sees what's on that stick, it's over for Typhon. Hence the celebration. <laughs> I think we've all earned the right to enjoy ourselves a little tonight. The band's coming on soon. Hmm. You'd better be front and center. Okay, quick, quick, quick pause. They, we found incredibly incriminating evidence on that on that USB stick. And I do believe it means they are done for. Civil and criminal. Like they are donezo with the evidence. But none of the characters want to actually solve the mystery of what that other zone is. So I'm I'm a little I'm a little disconnecting from the character that I'm playing right now because I think I would be getting my hiking boots and I would be heading out there. And yes, Batman 396, let's not forget we exist in a world where we play video games. So you're absolutely right. It sounds too easy. Plus, there's another chapter. Exactly right. And every chapter takes me about two hours. So we got about two hours of this game and then two hours of chapter five. So we are not done. Pike is not going to come and take the USB stick and then we all celebrate, maybe have another cry at what happened and then it's game over. You're right. We know there's another chapter. If this was a game, if this was a game that was not broken out into chapters, I might think, are we almost done? The game's not fooling us, though. We know we know too much. We know too much. We know more than our characters know. But I would be getting my hiking boots and my flashlight and I would be heading out to whatever that other site is where they wanted to cover some stuff up. Is it aliens? No, it's not aliens, but that'd be pretty cool. Is it it's probably some toxic waste dump or some evil like evil company Captain Planet type stuff. So back to the game. <laughs> oh. Uh, need help setting up? Yeah, I'll be nice. I like helping people set up. Oh, rad. Do you need help setting up for the show? Nah, it's all good. We're almost there. I have to run back to the trailer. Go be a normal person for a while. Can't make any promises. Why would I Text be a normal person? Ready? Be a normal person means go investigate. If I wanted to give away a rose. Steph and Ryan would definitely be on my list. Yes, I would give them a rose, anyway, but I don't want to create time to enjoy the festival. I don't want to create some weird love triangle. I'm telling you, I'm just I'm, I'm done with forced love triangles in games. OK, Haven Springs community. Thanks for letting us celebrate with you. <laughs> That's so fun and clever. <laughs> oh, you can pull up your you have a fake phone in this game. And the type in mining is like, happy spring festival. Thanks for letting us celebrate with you. <laughs> the poster has disabled replies because everyone's still mad at him. Like, regardless of. Even if all the evidence didn't exist there, there's they still have some some civil liabilities. I mean, that's 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 a given. Uh, this reminds me of that meme, and I don't know that I always fully understand it, but it's this little meme that's like. Some guy shows up to a party and everyone's just like blue amorphous blobs. Um, some guy shows up to a party and they're wearing a pineapple on their hat. And this is the evolution of a meme. And everyone kind of jokes and is like, oh, yeah, that's awesome. And then and then the next evolution is everyone's got a pineapple on their hat and they're all high fiving each other at the joke. And one guy's like wearing the T-shirt. And then it's like. 
And then the third evolution of the meme is there's like a brand, like a corporate brand, and they're wearing the T-shirt and they're like, I'm here too. And then the fourth evolution of a meme is it's all just corporate. Like corporate sponsored meme, like there's no more people doing it. And they're like, oh, darn. And I think that's kind of funny. Um, I get people's point there. I don't always fully agree with that, but I get people's point. And this kind of just reminds me about it. Typhoon Mining is like spring festival we're there too like we want to celebrate with you post disabled replies because you all hate us steph did a really great oh. job putting all that together huge shout out to everyone who helped out with the larp yeah the larp the larp was really good it's just in the middle of this murder mystery thanks to everyone another excellent spring food chili cook off my mouth is still burning in this in this context her name is diane i had her name right Nice. Um, in this context, though, all of these people also just run their own little shops with the exception of the mine. So they're not really like corporate takeover. <laughs> oh, Diane. Here's what Diane said, everybody. This is this is actually really silly Shit. and clever. That didn't take long. Lost one flash drive. That's what we stole that with all the incriminated evidence. I think I had it. When I was at the lantern earlier, please, if anyone finds it, get in touch with me immediately. I'm offering a reward. What kind of reward? Do you have it? No, but tell the world, I'll try a lot harder to find it. That's a funny reply, Haley. <laughs> um, all right. I feel like. Oh, yeah, the dire wolf. I feel like they uh, they did a really good job with that little unnecessary to the game, but little extra bits. Eleanor, are you joining us this evening? Ethan. Oh, no spoilers, but if Thanor finds a gate to the end of the world and fights a king of demons, that's a pretty big spoiler. That's the first page. OK, let's enjoy the festival. How's Steph doing? I'm, that sound? I'm reading people's emotions. So Steph is neutral right now. So then, where's the after party this year? She's after sad. Um Come on, young man. Hi, Eleanor. Let's read her mind. Oops, I'm talk I talked to her on Good accident. Good evening, dear. I meant to read her mind first. Um, let me. I better get going. Let me back out, then read her mind. Then use that information to manipulate her. Enjoy your night. For good. You too. Manipulate her for good. God, I just hope Riley is doing all right. Oh, no. What happened to Riley? I thought Riley was going to college. What happened to Riley? Hi, Eleanor. Oh, no. Good evening, dear. Um. Do I go straight to Riley? Yeah, yeah that's all I really hey, want to so know. Where's Riley? I haven't seen her around. Well, Riley was Mac's girlfriend. She's got a lot going on right now. I think she'd rather keep to herself tonight. Okay. What? What does that mean? That was odd. I wonder if there's something she's not telling me. Yeah, super clearly. All right, let's talk oh. to her. We doing shots tonight or what? Of course. Body shots. Who's going first? Just kidding. Oh, she got called out. Or am I? <laughs> <laughs> Eleanor is awesome. Eleanor is getting uh, early stages of dementia, though. The decorations so really turned we out beautifully. We did help her with that. It must have been a huge amount of work. It's worth it. I better get going. Okay, I really want to know what's going oh, on with Riley. Riley. Oh, waiting for a bus all alone. But thank God she never found out about my condition. Riley went to the bus stop alone. I wonder she... why. Yeah. Poor Riley, waiting for a bus all alone. Uh, yeah, but I'm thank not. Thank God she never found out about my condition. With Riley leaving tonight, no wonder Eleanor is so sad. It said new dialogue unlocked, but not with Eleanor. I love that the radio station broadcasts live from the park. 
Right? Oh, it almost makes you feel like a tiny Coachella. That's joy. <laughs> we don't see a Super lot of joy tiny. in this game. This is so, wasn't awesome. anything good lately? Favorite time of the year. Fun nice. Nice. Bar. Yeah, that kind of enthusiasm is infectious, especially for me. Yay! We're glowing. All right. It um, happened last year. Jet's yep. happy too. I remember it clear. It's been a hell of a month, but this makes it all worthwhile. It actually Jet does look like a nice get together. So much. It's inspiring. This is the most depressing party. Well, Probably that's around these people are having PM. fun. And he was already drunk as a skunk boy. This is my and kind I'm of party, by the way. For that kind of drinking, mind you, despite my occupation. Spring Fest. This, this is my kind of party. Like we, we just kind of hang out in a little park and maybe have some coffee and chit chat around a table. The red one <laughs> was 2.34. Wait, damn it. Oh, he's sad too though. I wanna know what's going on with Riley. This game is so demoralizing. Two, three. Why do I do this to myself? Hmm, maybe I can help him somehow. I don't wanna be rude, but it's guess the number of jelly beans, not count the number of jelly beans. That's how I can help him. I've got some time to kill. Might as well wander around and be social. Okay. This is impossible, right? Oh, can I just read her mind? Another year, another prize gift card for yours truly to keep. I'm such a little devil. Really? Uh, she Come steals on, it for herself? Lady. That's not right. That is not right. Another year, another okay, prize now, gift card for yours truly to keep. I'm such a little devil. Now, when I when I get the real number and I tell him, now I'm not going to feel bad. Because before I was like, well, whatever, I'm I not going to do it. don't think this thing is checking IDs. Nobody tell Pike. Oh, jeez. He has a jelly bean counting contest. You win a gift card if you get it right. Nobody gets it right, so she just takes the gift card for herself. Hey there. Guess the exact number of jelly beans and win a prize. <laughs> Only one guess per person. The exact number? <laughs> is that how this game is supposed to work? Usually it's like closest wins or whatever. <laughs> you can go right after this determined young man. So we, we're we gonna get the number from her and then tell him. Another year, another prize gift card for yours truly to keep. I thought such a little devil. I thought her dialogue might change. Hmm. This is impossible, right? How do I try him again? <sighs> this game is so demoralizing. All right, let me talk to him. Hi. Oh, hey. Nice to see you. You're taking this jelly bean thing very seriously. Let's let's yeah. Let's face him while we talk to him. This is a one hundred dollar gift card. Oh. Chrissy's oh. been all anxious ever since she got lost. So, I thought I could get her a bunch of treats, which is really embarrassing, saying it out loud. Not at all. Okay. That's sweet. Maybe I can help. Oh, for real? Are you good at this? Yeah, I'm great at How this. How many jelly beans do you think there are? Okay. Oh! Oh, wait, I have to decide? Oh, uh... It's always more than you think it is. I'd say, like, 800 or so. Huh. I have no idea. That was a horrible yeah, guess. Could be. Feels like something just changed in that oh, lady by the jar. Oh, that's how I can read Maybe her. Maybe I should read her. <gasps> She's scared? Purple is scared. 800's actually not bad. Hopefully they don't go lower. Oh, lower? That was close. Maybe I should say something. Oh, okay. This is how we're going to do it. I thought we were going to answer... And then, and then we hey, locked it in and we ruined the game I've for I've got him. another guess. Yeah? Well. I think it's closer to 700. Yeah. 700 feels right. But we have to get it exactly. All right, let's read her mind again. Baby's heart skip a beat. I should read her again. This is so silly. This is the silliest use of her powers. Really close to 731. Ooh. Who is this Ooh. girl? Ooh. Hell yes. Ooh. Your secret's mine. Yeah, that's right. I'm reading your mind and I'm using that privileged information to win a gift card for this dude. <sighs> this game is so demoralizing. 
Why do I oh, do sorry. this? Sorry, I didn't myself? mean to read him. I didn't mean hmm. to just talk to him. The answer is seven thirty-one. Don't ask me how. Seven hundred thirty-one jelly beans. <laughs> that's that's correct. I can't believe he went with yes. our guess after stressing so Thanks much. So much for your help. You rule. <laughs> no sweat. Ooh, now she's angry. A silly yet brilliant use of your powers. That's right, Batman. <laughs> I can't believe it. How did she know? Just I read a minds. lifetime of emotional trauma. Just a lifetime of emotional trauma. Best spring fest ever. And I so peace returned to the Jellybean Kingdom. I'm actually surprised they're representing her emotion with red. Because red in this game so far has meant like rage. Him hauling ass toward the She's just kind of upset. She's just kind of a little annoyed. Doing this takes a certain type of person, and I am not that person. Oh, too cool. You're too cool for the for the apple bob. OK, no, but seriously, I do want to figure out what happened to Riley and why I'm she's sure at Jed's the bus around stop. the festival. It's Mac. Maybe I can say hi. It's Mac. So brief recap of who Mac is. Um, Mac's the one who got the call from our brother who said, hey, don't blow up the mine. We're looking for a lost kid. And Mac goes, no problem. Mac calls his boss and passes along. Now, that is what Mac was supposed to do. But then when they ignored him, Mac covered it up for them and and was intimidated I don't blame him for being intimidated, intimidated by the company, but he could have gone to the police. He could have gone to the newspaper. He could have shouted it from the streets. That's the ultimate protection. Shine the light of truth on it. There is no way the company is going to kill him or harm him if he goes, uh, yeah, no, they ca Gabe called me. I called them. I told them what's going on. Hey, Diane, I called you. Do you have anything to say for it? And he's just in the town square. They're not going to mess with them then. They're intimidating him behind the scenes. How's Mac doing? Mac is emotionally neutral. Let's look at him. I haven't seen Mac in a while. He seems no better off. I, I don't call. like Mac, but I don't blame him for what happened. I blame you. him for the cover up. I know you tried to do the right thing. So, what now? I'm taking Typhon down. The whole hornet's nest. <laughs> I'm not betting against you. But, in the meantime, they're the only ones cutting checks in town. That is a problem. And I still got plenty of bills to pay. Oh, I guess I can't blame you. Money's money. Just keep your guard up, OK? It's always flattering to see how much you care about me. <laughs> no wonder you try to break up me and Riley. Oh, there's the Mac I know. <laughs> I broke them up because I told the truth about how much of a jerk he was. Oh, oh, is that Sounds it? Like Take it Ryan easy, is ready dude. For me. I better head back. Too. Did his emotional state change? I was like, just I, I didn't want to be too nice to him, so that I was just trying to end the conversation there. Um, the let's do a quick little look outside the bounds and just see if there's anything. The game will probably shut me down. Uh, so I think the whole time is we're supposed to just talk to Mac. That was the most important thing. Oh, what's this with these people? Oh, these people are both scared. Oh, anxious girl. Was I supposed to give him a hug? Does he think that I think it's not a date? If this is a date, it's a really silent one. Oh, boy. Should I not have worn cologne? Is that too try hard? Oh, Maybe I no. Maybe I wear enough. Aw, look at the hang of this one day or how, not. How can I help him? Can I help him? I should just be like... I should be like, hey, are you two on a date? Are you enjoying it? 
Maybe you should sit closer together. And then they would feel very awkward, and then they would do it, and then they would be okay. <laughs> You were going to say that? Exactly. Yeah, it just... I do the jelly bean thing, but I don't help them at all. Random ATV parked at a festival with a bunch of drunk people. <laughs> what could go wrong? Okay. All right. Well, let's start the festival. I didn't actually talk to Jeb, did I? Because I never got... Took a minute, but I dragged his oh, I can't talk to him. To dry land. I, I can't figure out why... Next morning. Why Riley's at the bus stop alone. Um, I would like to answer that before I actually okay, move on. So there's this young farm maid in the elvish countryside. Thank you, Steph. To find her missing Thanks for helping me find the fun again. Ago, Sounds like Ethan wasn't Aww. the only one inspired by the LARP today. That's great. No alcohol beyond this point. Looks like plenty of people are still out around town. The game's probably going to turn me around. Oh, oh, mom, it's not an emergency. What's this guy Ethan doing? It's not Trust normal. Me. I made a mistake coming here. Get out oh. while you can, dude. Can we? I can't believe it's letting us walk this far. Usually the game like turns you around. I wonder if we can find uh, Riley at the bus stop. Grand opening tomorrow. Well, where do you gotta pull my shit Free together for this grand opening? For These people won't be so gracious forever. We might. Free food goes a long way in Haven. Ow. It's really letting me go very far. Are you serious right now? A boot. One, His two, three. I control me. One, two. Fuck. I don't I'm control park. shit. Oof, sorry, man. Okay, I'm going to get away from him. That's a little too much. But I just want to point out his name is locked out. Fuck you. Language. You think you're making the world a better place? What's your deal? You doing a service for the citizens? I mean, I kind of agree with the guy, though. <laughs> is it just like tax and harass? Is that is that the goal? Lots or of people still hanging there something out on else Main going on? Street tonight. Who's safer because he has a boot? Who's helped? The LARP was a lot of fun. He's yeah, sad. I still like her so much. I think there's food left at the What hospital? do I do? Sorry, man. Damn it. I'm head over heels for this dark. Could what do be. I do? But are you? Again. Not really. Can I say anything? Oh, but, I can't. Hey, um. Cute couple. I just wanted to say you two make a really cute couple. Uh, oh. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. That's really sweet. That idea doesn't bother you? Oh, did I do it? Us being a couple? Yeah. I kind of like it. Holy shit. Uh, okay, so does this I mean... did it! Do you want to um... go out sometime? All right, I don't need to be here for this. Oh, uh, I did something. I did something with my powers other than stealing the jelly bean gift card. I was this close to just going on to the next scene. I had no idea that I could go Time all over to town. Time up with Ryan before the show. Surprise. What's your deal? Bad surprise. Didn't expect that him playing I my favorite game would be a turn on. But here Get we out. are. <laughs> Wait. Great. Is someone standing out past the Bridge of Flowers? Pretty late for a bus ride. Excuse me. Oh, wow, we can go all the way out here. This this is totally I wonder how many people miss this. I mean, I'm not trying to like pat myself on the back too hard here, but I was I was this close to just skipping all of this, thinking that I, I would. I didn't think it let me out of the park. It normally doesn't. Oh, what's here I am, just waiting at the bus stop about to change my entire life. I've been there. What bus comes at like 630? that like goes out of town at a bus stop like this, like maybe like a Greyhound station. I wish I could live in a town like this besides the evil mining company. I think I have to agree with you. Happy Mama Cow. Um, this is nice. 
It's got all the little shops. It's got that people live walking distance from Main Street. Apparently, it's not that expensive to live with the exception of the mining company. So, all right, let's uh, let's see what's up with hey, Riley. Riley here. Oh, hi, Alex. What are you doing out here? Just what are you doing out here? You can't tell that woman anything. <laughs> <laughs> My bus comes tonight and I just couldn't bear saying goodbye to everyone. I get that. Excuse me. I burped. Sorry. I'm really going to miss this town. I'll miss my Nana most of all, of course. Mm. I hope Nana's okay. She's in good health, but sometimes I wonder if I should really be leaving her here alone. Eleanor is keeping her condition a secret. Oh. But I feel like Riley would want to know. What should I do? What should I do? Eleanor was very relieved. Oh no. Oh no, I don't like this decision. I'm I am torn. Eleanor was relieved that Riley didn't know. But Oh no. Oh, I don't like this decision at all. This is actually a hard decision for me. I have a lap blanket in case you're wondering. I'm rather cold today. Uh, I might be getting sick, actually. Um, I've been sneezing all day, but it stopped now, which is great. Um, I mean, I'm leaning towards keeping Eleanor's confidence. It's it's her condition, and she... You know, she, she doesn't want... Riley to know and maybe right maybe if I told Riley she wouldn't go to college and she wouldn't do the things that she needs to do garlic and honey and vitamin C yeah true oh, yeah I need to get on that I did get vitamin C today I put um I put one of those like emergency packets in my water drink that Batman 396 is saying keep Eleanor's confidence I I, I think I think that's the right choice I, I really do think it's the right choice the only reason I'm torn at all is that like maybe Riley could help her in a way that's not not go to college, not not do her dreams, but like check in on her more, you know, like make sure she calls at least twice a week. Um, come for spring break. You know what I mean? Like just something a little bit more than she would otherwise. But I fear that telling her would actually make her upend her life to take care of her. But also, it's 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 Eleanor's life, and she doesn't want Riley to know. So I think I do need to. I think I think I do need to keep her confidence. And maybe what I can do is, after she's, maybe I can talk to Eleanor more about it. You know, and say like, hey, maybe you should talk to Riley about things that you're going to need. Maybe something like that. That's what I'm going with. After the game. Eleanor is so proud of you. I help more. All she wants is for you to follow your dreams. That is all she wants. You're right. Of course. Good luck with everything. Oh, that she We're wants. We're rooting for you. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Well, I didn't I didn't make her less scared. OK, so festival, which will hopefully be short <laughs> and then. And then I guess then we talk to the cop. I'm fairly certain. I don't know how certain. Let's uh, I'll, I'll put a percentage on it. I say. OK, here, you know, no, no, I'm not going to do percentage. I'm going to say on possible outcomes again, factoring in Batman 396 mentioned this earlier. There's one more chapter of this game, so it's not like we talk to the cop and everything's fine. So here's here's what I think. Cop is dirty and on the take from the mining company, which would not be that crazy, considering they essentially run the economy of this entire region. And he attempts, attempts, he will fail. We will be successful by the end of this game. He attempts to bury the evidence or maybe 
charge me for like stealing the USB stick. This is a real thing, folks. I have actually seen this uh, victims be charged with crimes as a way to then try to like perpetuate. Anyways, I used to follow a lot of like innocence projects type stuff. Um, I kind of got away. It was a little emotionally so overwhelming. About? But been a while since I seen you. There's some really egregious examples of things like that. So that's that's one possibility. Another possibility is he's legit. He takes our complaint, but the wheels of justice move slowly. You know, he's got to turn it over to the state's police. And then meanwhile, there's still other stuff going on and it's going to take months and months for things to resolve. But there's some um, other emergency or something with this other site or the EPA inspectors are all bought off anyway. So it's like it kind of goes nowhere. That's another possibility. Or a third possibility, which I actually think is the most likely, is something happens to the USB drive. So we know this, Pike, the officer wants to help us, but just actually can't. That's, well, that's, that's sweet, my theory. But I think I'll avoid touching this bench just to be safe. Okay. Weirdo. Let me let me go back to this couple and see if I actually can get them together. Because maybe I made a mistake earlier. No. No no option to to talk. Okay, so one couple I can help and one couple I can't. Alright, we need to talk to Ryan. I hope this music is not uh, uh copyrighted, by the way. I let me actually, well, now now I'm worried. It doesn't sound like it, but I do have like streamer mode on. Mute m license music, yes. OK, so in the whole first two chapters, it was just weird silence. But in the last couple chapters, they have played music. Batman 396 wants to know, how would something happen to the drive? Isn't it in your possession right now? Well, that was an extension or a follow-up question to the part three of what I think is going to happen. One, maybe because it was like encrypted, maybe there's some something to do with the encryption that makes it so it can only be read once, like kind of hand wavy computer magic. Maybe on my way to the police station, I am physically attacked. Maybe I am so vert subvertly attacked, like they pour water on my pocket or something. Um, because if you remember the Typh Typhon? Typhon? Typhoon? Typhon people actually did threaten Mac and threaten his like safety and implied that he was being followed and watched. And they hired essentially a like a PI firm to follow him and track him and report his whereabouts, including the time he talked to us. So that's my answer to your question. Let's, how's Ryan feeling? Seems Ryan's to be feeling fine. Ryan's been there for me. Should I give a rose to him? Uh, okay, I'm calling it now. Unless there's some compelling gameplay reason, gameplay reason I don't want to, I don't want to give a rose to anybody. Because I don't like the hey. game forcing okay. this decision on me. Just in time. So who's playing? It's Yours a little truly. too soon for me to Seriously? make that kind of connection. That's awesome. Well, wait, who else? Oh, me. Steph. <laughs> oh, our character is kind of funny Let's sometimes. <laughs> I hate you both. <laughs> we didn't want you to wuss out. That's pretty funny. Wissing out is highly underrated. We haven't even practiced yet. Who cares? Everyone's wasted anyway. Just play whatever. I'll follow your lead. Oh no, is it gonna mute my song? This is gonna be awesome. Trust me. Oh, the last time it muted really funny, fun musical number. Um. We've never played together before, and uh... tip, tip it up, tip it up. Anyway, sorry if this sucks. Great way to start a song. Oh, and everybody's watching now. <sighs> if 
Fuck it. Language. Oh, it's with the language. Ha! Oh no. Ha! Oh, I lost my nose stud when I touched my face. Okay, well, all right. All right. Oh, oh, the inside is still there. Okay, everybody, look away. Look away. Okay. Ah. Uh, uh, all right. No nose stud now. Um, what I was going to say, <laughs> sorry, is um, she's drumming and it's muted. So, yeah, it's this is going to be muted. So we're going to play. We're going to play probably something from here. Let's play this. All right, here we go. This is our musical number. She's, she's playing, but there, there's nothing happening in the game. It's total silence. Oh no, her words are muted. Oh, this is this is kind of sad. Um. Hey everybody, we're having a spring festival, and it's great. My brother died like five weeks ago. And we're about to... Yeah, we're about to find the killers. Yeah, and then more importantly, also figure out why. Happy Mama Cow says, wow, she can sing. Um, yeah, she's... Alex sings right there. Game tells you. Mmm. I literally can't think of a single song all of a sudden to sing. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. Really, really wish they had thought about when they added the live stream option. I really wish they had thought about what that actually means for muting the music and put in uh, some some games will put in alternate music now. This just mutes it and it's weird because there wasn't even any crowd noise. This is um, this is Ethan's mom and Gabe's girlfriend, and she is like at a mental breaking point. We need to be very careful with her. We need to be very supportive. Um, but she, she needs she needs professional help. She needs somebody more important, no, more than us. I was horrible to you earlier. You okay. really weren't. Really. Then I fucked up because I was trying pretty hard to be horrible to you. <laughs> I was so excited about you coming to Haven. In my mind, the way I built it up, we were going to be best friends. <laughs> yeah. I wish... There's still time. Yeah. Maybe. I guess we'll see. She's wearing a lot of necklaces. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. She's in a much better state. She had time to calm down, self-regulate a little. That's good. I, I'm not sure exactly what's happening right now, but. I'm pushing the button to read emotions. Oh, I get to decide when I leave. Oh, boy. Oh, what a, what a fun little test. Is this game testing me? They're like, how long do you want to stand there supporting someone who really needs you? Gamer. Meanwhile, gamer me 
gamers is thinking, uh, we have a mystery to solve. This game's like a mystery to solve or a person to help. What's more important? Huh? Huh? I'm being tested. Am I just making this up in my own mind? I'm probably making this up in my own mind. Nobody thought this when they were making the game. I was, uh... I played this game, White Middle Class Man Simulator. A very fun game. I played it um, during, was it demo days? It was when I was playing a bunch of a bunch of little games. And it was like a 12 minute game. But the point is, at the end of the game, you get stuck in traffic. And you you just have to close the game whenever you're done. And I feel like this is what they're doing. Holy guacamole, that's a big coffee cup, is it? No, it is. I was just messing. It's huge. It's perspective. Oh, it's fading in out of out of existence. See, it says I've cut back. Oh, nope, nope. I've cut back to just one cup of coffee per day. We have fun here. Either that or you're a very tiny person. <laughs> I'm a very large person. I'm a very large person. Um, no, no, this is this is this is a giant mug. And I wish I had some other object that was weirdly big that looked normal size to complete the joke. But I'm looking around and I've recently cleaned up my desk. I have a deck of cards that's also huge. That would be funny if I had that right here. Oh, so that joke's dead. Um, I think we're going to have to hit B, folks. I don't know if the game, I don't know what the normal amount of time is, but it's looping the same things versus giving us kind of new imagery or new opportunities. She's not saying anything. She's not crying. We're just, we're just here breathing together. In real life, I'd probably stay about 20 minutes. You okay? You're going to make some chicken nuggets. Nice. No, but. You know. Was that long enough in a video game? I'm gonna go home. Okay. That seemed... That seemed okay. I used to eat these dino bites. I mean, I know they're for kids, but... They're like dinosaur shaped chicken nuggets and I just loved me some dino bites. Oh no, look at the things to do. I wasn't paying attention. Meet stuff on the rooftop. I never did that. Oh wait, that's right now. Oh, literally I'm reading the text right in front of me. It says, hey, come meet me on the rooftop. Sure thing. Sounds like Steph wants to meet me on the rooftop. She is going to suggest some kind of romantic relationship with me. And I don't want any relationships. So I guess I'm supposed to get a rose and bring it up to her, right? That's what we're doing. That's what this game is forcing me into. I refuse to participate. I'm just, I'm, uh, uh, I'm, I'm bucking the system. Let me be careful how I pronounce that. But I'm just, I'm just, I'm just done with this concept of every game forcing you to make a decision about love. You know what? Let's clean this up while we're here. Ugh. Not tonight. Okay. Not tonight then. Steph's great. I like Steph. I thought I was going to be a little annoyed with Steph, but no, she, I, I like Steph. But but I'm just tired of games doing this. Batman 396 says, unfortunately, if the plot demands it, you'll have to. You're right. You are right. I will not not finish a game just because I disagree with the premise. You're right. Uh, I will. You said you have some news. Did she? I'm leaving. I'm oh. actually leaving Haven Springs. Can you believe it? Back on the road again. Fucking finally. Language. Wait. Seriously? Hey, it's I'm not about me. I'm a selfish again, jerk. Alex, anywhere I want. God, I forgot how fucking good it feels. 
No. Holy shit, Steph, that's so cool. We're not going to say this sucks. I'm really happy for you. You better keep in touch. You think it's that easy to get rid of me? Come on, Chen. I need a new destination. <sighs> You're my good luck charm. You have shit taste in good luck charms. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Well, you're in a mining town in Colorado, so. Pick one. Hold on, I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I would say. For her, I think she's not ready for like New York or Los Angeles. I, f I feel like those cities just they're just not her vibe. I'm, I'm calling that maybe. Maybe East Bay like Oakland in California, if we're talking California, not San Francisco, not San Francisco. So let's go. OK, that's that's one option. You know, what? Ooh, San Diego, if we're thinking California, San Diego is an option. I'm not looking. OK, so if we're thinking California, I got San Diego and Oakland, I feel like could be good vibes for her. OK, so then if we're thinking outside of California. I don't know most of the world. Um. I could see Austin, right? Or maybe, you know, maybe it's maybe it's too on the nose like Portland uh, 10 years ago. Hmm, sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, I, I know so little about the East Coast. Um, yeah, I think I'm out of, you know what? Somewhere in Rhode Island. OK, all right, let's see. Let's see what it actually says. We've got Berlin. Oh, that's too far. We've got Salem, Massachusetts. Maybe the middle of the ocean. Um. Oh, like working on a cruise ship. I had a friend. Well, actually, technically a friend's daughter, but we're we're friends, too. She worked on a cruise ship and she loved it, but only like not for the not for a whole life, like for one, like six month period. Well, shoot, Be out of these options, which are nothing like anything I described, I didn't even think outside the United States and I definitely didn't think an ocean. I'm going to go Salem. I'm going to go Salem, Massachusetts. I have been there, but I am no kind of expert. I went there like for a day and a half. <laughs> um, you're making Kimkin Nuggies and Mac and Cheese. Now, is that a nickname or is that a brand? of chicken nuggets called Chim Kim Nuggies. Man, sometimes mac and cheese is so good and sometimes I am indifferent about it. It's addictive because <laughs> that actually could be a brand name like uh, like a, like an impossible meat Chim Kim Nuggies. I had some I had some fake uh, beef and it was called but if it was like B apostrophe E F but I was laughing. All right, we're going Salem. Salem, I didn't Halloween capital of the world. I didn't get to or like so read or mind or anything. Who do I hang out with? Uh, witches, obviously. You join a coven, a lesbian coven. Is there any other kind? <laughs> <laughs> you hang out in graveyards and perform rituals to speak to the dead. None of which ever work, but that's okay. Because I get a load of old tombstone rubbings to decorate my apartment with. That sounds like a pretty spectacular plan. Great. Then come with me. Oh, I knew she was going to ask. To Salem? Sure. Why not? Doesn't have to be our first stop, but one day. I mean, I still have friends in Seattle who book shows. Seattle Maybe seems we right start there. I should have said Seattle. I don't know. Kansas City. Kansas City Vegas? seems right too. Darn what it. Do we want? Oh, Seattle and Kansas City. I should have said those places. Not Vegas. Look. I don't want to pressure you. But I've seen you give so much of yourself to make sure other people get what they need. And I guess I wonder if you've thought about what you need. Um, I actually have not. I've been so fixated on solving this murder that I have I mean, not thought about it. Obviously, I like you a lot. 
Alex. You mean the fucking world to me. Okay, language. I wanna give you whatever you need. Sorry, sorry everybody. Um, Happy Mama Cow says I went to Costco for the first time and got a bodacious haul. Costco, that's a game changer. That is a game changer. Um, can I kiss her and then say I don't want to go with you? That feels like super mixed messages. I want to kiss her, but I don't want to send the wrong message. So. Uh, you know, you know, oh, geez, the, the thing is, I came here to live with my brother. He's dead. I have nothing here other than the friends I've made since I've been here. Her being one of them. My character, not me, Joker, my character has identified her as like a major important factor of this town. I have her. I have Ryan. That seems like 90% of it. And then 10% of it is like Ethan and his mom. So maybe I do go with her. What if I did? It's not the worst idea in the world. Except she probably like wants me to be in her band and I would need a way to make money. Although how am I making money here? I, I, I well, I guess I'm a waitress and Jeb is giving me free rent. So that's probably not. Not realistic to apply elsewhere. Um, We're going to hug her, but I actually don't know if I want to go with her or not. I, tr I truly don't know. Oh, we, we broke her heart, didn't we? You're so indecisive, you'd never be able to make decisions in this game. I feel the same way. I'm forcing myself. You don't have to decide anything now, okay? <laughs> Just think about it. I force myself to play these games. Thank you. I never finish one of the Walking Dead games because there's a decision where you have I'm to pick who dies, and I just refuse. Find me later. So I've never finished that game. Every time I make one, I'm like, I need to reload. I made the wrong choice. I, I, I'll actually tell you. I'll tell you how I came to to this to this thought that I have now. Well, as soon as my character stops talking. <laughs> hey, Gabe. Oh, can I tell you something? Here we go. I think I solved it. Why you died? Who's responsible? Isn't that crazy? It is crazy. Oh, the Walking Dead games? They're so good. To pull. So good. Which is terrifying. You're not because out of threads to pull. All this, after Typhon, after you, there's just normal life. I was kind of counting on you to show me how to do that. But I think I can figure it out. I just wish you were here to see it. somebody sneaks up behind me and knocks this flash drive out of my hand, I'm going to be so mad. I, the player, not the character. <laughs> Beer fresh. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Is this another where? Oh, I have to push the button to leave. I'm just sitting here. I could have told my story. I 
That's so funny. I was just just sitting there. I was like, oh, enjoying the view. That was our little like uh, mindful moment talking to Gabe. We have there are still threads to pull. We don't know what they're trying to cover up. Oh, here we go. Alex. Do you have the USB drive? I do. It's all here. Oh, I'm nervous. Called, I'm nervous. Their secret plan. The cover up. You need to come with me to the station. <gasps> Alex. Don't make this hard. What do you mean, don't make this hard? Am I being detained or am I free to go? Oof. Ooh. Just. Okay. Quick, quick aside, and I want to I want to actually finish the point I was going to make earlier, because it seems like we're going in a very different direction. I do not do well in any kind of confinement, so I really hope I never get in trouble with the police. I really don't think it will go well for me. Um, heads up on that one. Uh, if you read about me in the news, <laughs> maybe something happened. If I were her in this situation, I would literally start running especially in a small town because it's like they're not it's i'm not gonna get four stars on gta and, and the whole world's chasing me there's one guy i'm not going downtown I, i'll 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 bring him up to my room and play in on my laptop what's going on okay sorry i'm i'm like actually getting some anxiety about the fact that she's now sitting in an interrogation room uh i would at least have my friends there recording I would not, I mean, she probably can't get a lawyer, but why are you in an interrogation room? Okay, set that all aside. We will do our best when the time comes to it. But back to what Happy Mama Cow said and Batman 396 said, those are great games. We were talking about The Walking Dead and about making decisions. I, I know I've mentioned this YouTuber before, uh, Many a True Nerd. I, I watched him play a... Um, I think it was the first time I've actually been watching for a very long time, but he plays Fallout on Sundays and he has like a theme um, like like melee only or he does like a kill everything or you only live once, tries to beat the whole game without taking more damage than your health. And he has like a true health meter, not like not like sleeping that heals you. No, none of that counts. So we're not talking one death. We're talking all damage is permanent. Those are really fun playthroughs. Go back and watch a many a true nerd on YouTube. Absolutely worth watching every single one of them. But the thing I noticed is he, when he played Skyrim, I think it was when he played Skyrim, he made some bad choices. And, and you know what he did? He dove in head first. He doubled down on those choices. And he's like, oh, man, I messed up my character. Well, I guess that's who I am now. Or he's like, uh oh, I got this person killed. Now I have to deal with the consequences. I can't go back to that town. And I was thinking, I would have reloaded the game. And then, and then I'm thinking, I always reload the game. I'm totally that player. I'm that player. Oh, yeah. And another thing, he was pickpocketing somebody and failed and had to run away. And I'm thinking, I have never failed a pickpocket in any game I've ever played because I always reload my save. And then what I did is I played Fallout New Vegas and I didn't reload unless I died, which I, of course I did. But I decided to make my choices my real choices and sticking to them. And the thing I found is that it actually increased my fund. Even when I made an objectively bad decision that I regretted, it, it made the game go off into a branch I wasn't expecting. And that novelty produced joy. That is my theory. There is probably some video essay about that or something. But that to me, that was a big game changer for me. Pun intended in video games is when you make bad decisions and you force yourself to stick with them. Then you're going to have, at least for me, 25% more fun than <laughs> than reloading every time and always making the optimal decision. So uh, credit to many a true nerd because that's just how he plays. 
And I, I watched him do that and thought, oh man, I would have reloaded. Oh man, I would have reloaded. Now, in, in a game like this, uh, the, the theory is you, you just replay them a few times and make different decisions and see what happens. Um, I suspect that making different decisions doesn't really change a whole lot. Um, but I don't know because I don't generally replay games. Okay, let's get back to the game. We're in the interrogation room. I am not super excited. Thank you for allowing me to go on my little side side rant story. Ready? I don't answer questions. Is this an interrogation room? This is an interrogation room. This is not an office. Probably isn't how you pictured your first spring festival, huh? Not exactly. Why wouldn't we be sitting by his Coffee? desk? What do we do? Is he... He hasn't done anything to make us mistrust him yet. Coffee would be great. Thanks. I don't know why I offered we're actually out. Okay. Now I don't trust him. Pike. This is an interrogation room. The long and short of it is, Diane is charging you with stealing her USB drive. Pause. Absolutely. Let me get in front of a jury. Charge me with it. Um, how how valuable is the USB drive? What? 30 bucks? It's been returned. It is a misdemeanor in every freaking state. I don't care how crazy this town in Colorado is. That is a ticket and then it is a civil matter. Oh, ooh, 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 I am heated. I am already heated. And by the way, did you know what you know what that USB drive is full of? Blackmail material. So now every, every all the contents becomes let's just say somehow I'm charged with the crime. Let's just say somehow this $30 USB drive I'm charged with the crime. Okay. First of all, one, now the contents are discoverable in court, in open court, a matter of public record. Really, Diane? Are you sure you want to charge me? Is that is you want your blackmail to be a matter of public record? <sighs> okay. Oh, I'm heated. I am heated. This is what I would say. I'd go, okay. Charge me. What charge me with stealing a $50 USB drive. Oh, I'm heated. Did you steal this USB drive or not? I don't answer questions. At least tell me you looked at it. I can't. Sorry. Of course you can. What do you mean? Why not? Well, one, I would need a warrant. And two, the case is closed. Okay, there is no such thing as the case is closed. That is an administrative action. That's not a legal barrier that is a administrative action that means your office decided that you are no longer going to work on something okay okay he this guy this guy is lucky i'm not in the room because because i would be i would be all up in his face about this i'm not saying i'd be violent that's not what i'm trying to say i'm trying to say i would be saying all the stuff i'm saying right now <laughs> and about the warrant maybe that actually might be true <laughs> because he I'm trying to think this through I'm not a lawyer I'm not a lawyer but I'm, I am trying to think this through he knows that it is Diane's property if he was given something and said, hey, there's there's crimes on here, then he could look at it without a warrant. But knowing that it's Diane's property, maybe he can't. Um, 
but we could have emailed him the files and he would have them. And actually, no, 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 hold on. No, he can. He can look at them. Here's why. That is Diane's property. He can look at it and she would be immune because fruit of the poison tree in the evidence gathered against her on the USB drive. So she's immune, but the, the information on there is not. So she would be immune from like something like attempted blackmail. But she would not be. But but the company would not be immune. So he doesn't need a warrant, essentially, to get the information to charge the company. He would only need the warrant to protect his case against Diane. So he actually could do it. Boom. Boom. The order came down today. I did what I could, but you know, evidence just wasn't there. Sorry, I'm gonna, Alex. I'm going to call this similar to my number two guess of what what was going to happen. But not quite what I said, but this is this is my number two. I have the evidence right it, here. It doesn't matter. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you take an oath to the Constitution and to help people or Look, are you just a big phony? What happened to my brother? wasn't an accident it was criminal the files on that drive prove it that could be true but let's say it is yeah let's the say the issue is. is you stole typhon's property no i didn't i can't work with that false see i wish i could talk to him deputy sheriff in a small town did he even consult with a lawyer or a district attorney or anything? Or is he just, okay, I really wish it wouldn't switch back over to keyboard and mouse. I'm using a controller, I'm holding a controller. I'm, I'm not touching anything else. Cause I don't like any of these answers. I don't wanna be like, first of all, why did I even go to the fricking police anyways? This is, this is the kind of stuff they do. I would publish it in the newspaper. I'd put it on a website and be like, Put it on YouTube. Put it on my own website. TyphoonKilledMyBrother.com. Boom. Roasted. Whew. Okay, I'm having a hard time with this. I don't interact well with police. <laughs> it comes from a long time ago. Okay. Um, whatever. I just handed you a smoking gun. It shouldn't matter how I got it. Maybe not. But it does. Alex, you're not thinking about this clearly. Seems pretty clear to me. Diane wants to charge you with computer fraud. That's a federal crime, Alex. Five. Okay, Diane doesn't charge people with crimes. The district attorney charges people with crimes. She can petition the district attorney to charge me with a crime. Diane doesn't charge me. Man, okay, calm down, Joker. Calm down. Calm down. And again, put me in front of a jury. Put me in front of a jury. Uh, I sold a US. I stole a USB drive. Uh, I stole a USB drive. On that USB drive is evidence um, that this company killed my brother and um, proceeded with the cover up. So, so do I go to jail for computer fraud now? D is that is that what's happening? No, I don't go to jail for computer fraud. Let's go. Ten, easy. Five to ten, my butt. You know what? Fuck Diane. This isn't justice. This is a joke. You're a joke, Pike. Take the USB, punch him in the face, and run out of there. All right, don't it's punch him in the bad. face. Hey, I talked to her, and despite how angry she is at everything, is this guy did, serious right now? She's willing to let it go. Let it go? They killed my brother. If you agree to drop everything, 
Typhon won't press any charges. Is this guy... Do you... Deputy Pike, when you, when you go home, or the next time you talk to your dad, are you going to tell him how much of a hero you were tonight? Tell him how proud of him that he should be, of you that he should be? How you protected a murderer because of, I don't know what, politics? And you tried to, like, sweat an 18-year-old girl without representation, without reading her her Miranda rights, and you put a deal written by a corporate lawyer covering up a conspiracy, which, by the way, is a crime, conspiracy to commit a crime, and the crimes. You proud of what you've done here, Deputy Pike? Is your family proud of you? Is this the story you're going to tell at Thanksgiving about how much of a hero you are? She's only offering that deal because she knows I have her. She can't she make a deal. Like. The DA charges. Even she doesn't you're charge. Right. Your only evidence is inadmissible. Inadmissible in crime against Diane, not inadmissible against Typhoon. I think you should do it. Fuck that. I'm not signing anything. Good. I'm glad they didn't give Alex, me the choice. No. Typhon buried something in the mountains. Something so massive, they ignored Gabe's call and set off the blast just to cover it up. Don't you want to know what it is? What do you mean, cover it up? I don't Another know. Check out the USB drive. Unannounced. Set off at the exact same time at the old mining site. And all of it happened just a few weeks before inspections were set to begin. Come on, Pike. It's all right here. Uh, who cares? Give up on Pike. He's a dumb dumb. Give it, give it to the like media. I said, it doesn't matter. Alex, Ta please just sign the form. And we Typhoon can killed Gabe.com. No. Ship Alex, it. This is not an offer that you can choose. I said no. No, it's not an option. There we go. Now we, now we find the real deal. He's not red. He's purple. Because he's scared. Because he's a little so wimp. Scared of. Let's go. Let's go, Pike. I can I can read your mind. See for yourself. What? Do they, do they have your family hostage? Shit. What could be in that envelope? Well, well let's read this me. first. I'm not signing it. I'll go to jail. And again, Diane's going to charge you. Diane doesn't do the charging. So this guy arrests me. I see the magistrate in the morning. Bail is set. Which, like, who the heck is this? Who's, who's the judge that's going to, like, Set some crazy high bail for for stealing a thirty dollar USB drive. Okay, all right, sorry. I'm just like, I need to calm down and I need to just play the game because my characters in the situation, not me. <laughs> okay, federal count of com computer fraud. Okay, so deputy um, uh, deputy Pike doesn't have a federal jurisdiction. Let's just throw that. Um, state count theft. Yes, he does. Colorado Revised Statute 184-4011A. 4 slash 401. Person commits theft when he knowingly obtains or exercises control over anything of value without authorization or by threat of deception. Intends to deprive another person permanently of the benefit use or value of. I would say that this probably... That probably qualifies. Knowingly uses, conceals, or abandons. Yes, so that probably qualifies. So what? Um, what is the typical punishment for this? Sometimes these law sites will talk about punishment, or sometimes it's written directly into the law, like no more than or at least than, like six months or something. Okay, I don't see. It doesn't say here for this. Um, ba, 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 ba. okay, so she probably that that X actually is probably an appropriate charge. 
A class two misdemeanor if the value of the thing is less than five hundred dollars. A class one misdemeanor if the value of the thing is is five hundred dollars or more. Okay, so it's a class one. It's a class two misdemeanor. Okay, so so he can right now charge her with a class two misdemeanor. In, um, in co by Colorado Revised Statutes. Okay. So what is the punishment of a class two misdemeanor? Most likely. Okay, C R S class two misdemeanor charges. Colorado, sorry, that's also California revised statutes. Okay, class two misdemeanor is an offense that is punishable by, by up to 120 days in jail and a fine of $700. So when they say things like punishable by up to 120 days in jail, um, that's almost always no jail time. Okay, and exhale. I've I have I have hopefully finished my rant. Let's actually play the game. <sighs> Typhoon mining security. Threat evaluation. Chen. Alex. Uh, anti typhoon sentiment. Brother Gabriel died in an accident related to mining blast. Assessment. Intel shows subjects has a high level of determination and efficacy. Negative affectation has persisted. Beyond particular behavioral period, suspect also appears to have possession of confidential data and information. Is he showing me this like I care? They're surveilling me. Yeah, they hired a private private investigator to surveil me. That's not the craziest, weirdest thing. So let's see where this goes. Um, OK, so begin following subject after meeting with Mac, right? Subject spent three hours in an apartment. Wi-Fi screen monitoring revealed. Search of the typhoon history and legal litigation records. Um, so that's actually a crime if they're like stealing my Wi-Fi information. That's that is actually like computer fraud or whatever. So that's interesting. Subject met and spoke with Black Lantern. She appears to be stolen object from the client. Yep, that's fine. Um, Ryan, close fan, died in an accident, assisting Chin with her efforts. And of course, Steph, Stephanie, of course, close friend, assisting Chin in her efforts has proven resourceful and dangerous. Okay, so what? Is this a threat? What did you expect? Huh? The Typhon, a global organization with billions in revenue they're following me of lawyers and who knows who cares? how many politicians in their pockets would just what, throw up their hands and say you got us i thought i could get justice for gabe yeah well typhon has their own idea of justice oh so so this is this is number one he's fully Shit. he's fully in their pocket then How you doing, boss? Believe I'm okay. I'm a little heated about this part of the game. Pay. I've learned the hard way that it's not possible. Okay, no, he's not in their pocket. They're too big, too connected, too ruthless. No, they're, nothing's too big. We have learned this. You can hate me if you want. Call me a coward. I will call you a coward. Fact. But I don't want to lose you like we lost Gabe. Pike is terrified of Typhon. I bet if I took his fear away. But it's not just about me. Steph and Ryan are in danger, too. They have people following us. That doesn't mean we're in Fuck. danger. I want to hurt Typhon so bad. But can I really put their lives at risk along with mine? Yes. I'm not signing it. Don't sign it. Don't you sign it, Alex. There's uh, that's not even a choice. There's zero percent chance I'm signing this. Do you want to risk your life over this? Gabe, Mac, Alex, who's next? They've only Fuck. actually killed one person. Fuck. Fuck! Just keep your head down, Tony. You're just a shit heel. Typhon's major league. 
Typhon doesn't lose. Typhon disappears. People. My idea of putting it on a website kind of ends this. Okay, I've taken his fear. I know you're afraid. I am too. I know you think that Typhon is too big, too invincible. But they're not. I will bring them down. Yeah. I just need your help. I don't even need his help, honestly. I, I don't need his help. Just have a little courage. Maybe that was the wrong thing to say. Maybe I should have said for Gabe. I think I should have said for Gabe. Fuck. I'll think about it. I hope we made a copy. Thank you. Get the hell out of here. Really? Alex. Be careful. Yeah, I'm not afraid of them. So they have private investigators following me around. That's not that crazy. No threats were made. The OG Joker says, I heard this is a good game. It's a great game. I have some issues with some of the weird pacing. Like last chapter, we played a LARP game instead of looking for our brother's killer, but it's fine. The game itself is really good. Come see me when you get a chance, Jet. Sure. Those pictures. How long have they been watching us? And what will they do if... Oh, shoot. We still have a sphere. We need to process it. Oh, we need... Oh, we have, the, we have a sphere still. Hmm. Happy Mama Cow says, nowadays this would be put on TikTok and the company's reputation would be screwed. That's exactly what I'm saying. This game isn't that old. Like, yeah. Put this stuff on YouTube. Put it on TikTok. Put it I on no idea the internet. To do next. Send it to Denver Maybe Times. talking to Jed will help me feel better. It's a nice, juicy conspiracy. It's got everything. It's got cover-up. It's got, it's got everything. First... Keep I People need to would run get out with of this. Stress. Yes. And they have their own form of social media. That's right. You could put it on. That one might not work as well. Might as well go talk to Jed now. Um, can I please put this outfit on? Oh, I can't. That really drives me nuts. <laughs> can't wait to have nightmares tonight. It's fine. Okay, um, I mean, we could close our blinds. I'd have slightly fewer photos of us, but. I feel a bit better. I guess I can go see the boss man now. So Jeb, Jeb's whole livelihood, just heads up everybody, because now I'm really worried. Jeb's whole livelihood is from the mine. He worked for the mine. There was an accident. He saved a bunch of miners. And they basically bought him this bar that we're living in. So. Jeb might, although he seems like a really great guy, he might be telling us to back off. And maybe he doesn't even know the whole story, but hey, he owes everything to the company. There she is. Have a seat. Have a seat. OK, before we do that, let's. Um, it was special for me, too, Steph. Let's let's Enjoy look. Enjoy that ice cream. I like group hair. Oh, and told a very special girl how special she is. And the scariest part wasn't telling her. I realized how dumb I was for waiting this long. Oh, Steph. Steph, like, told me that she loved me. And I didn't make Maybe it great. Maybe I should start charging for my services. Two of your neighbors have changed the relationship status. Oh, OK. All right. I help people. Um, all right, there's a lot of stuff on here. Let's uh, let's look at our text. Oh, it's Diane. 
Hey, Alex, I want to wish you a wonderful first spring festival. Unfortunately, I have to work through this year, but I really appreciate our conversation earlier. It was great getting to know you a little better. Isn't Diane the mine lady? Wait, who did we talk to? All right. All right. This is I'm worried this is not going to go well. Something tells me you've had a more exciting spring festival than you planned for. Something like that. You saw Pike arrest me. He didn't arrest you. He didn't and put you in handcuffs. Go, apparently. Then there's that business with Ryan and Steph earlier today. I wasn't sure why it took all three of you to work out Diane's lunch order. Oh, that was today? I know you're used to looking out for yourself. Gabe was like that. Tell him everything. But Haven's a community. We help each other. The worst he could do is tell I wanna help you. Typhoon and they already know everything. But first, you have to let me know what's going on. Tell him. Tell him. Fuck it. What have I got to lose? That's exactly what I was thinking. Typhon killed Gabe. I have proof. We're what going proof? straight for it. I stole it from Diane. Emails and documents proving there was a second explosion the night Gabe died. To cover something up, Jed. Some secret they buried. Yeah. I don't know what it is. We have proof. I don't even know what to do next. But I'm not giving up. Not ever. I know what they're hiding. Was it something to do with the accident? That he was a part of? I'm not going to be mad at Please, him. I'm not going to blame him. What's the truth? What are they afraid of? Typhon's the devil that runs this town. <gasps> I've been carrying their secrets for far too long. Oh, he knows a lot more. I Maybe they tried to buy him off. The mountains. Tell me. I'll do one better. I'll show you. I'll show you. Before you show me, can you tell me? <laughs> can you can you actually just tell me before you show me? Oh, now I'm nervous. There, up ahead. My theory is maybe Where the are we? maybe the accident that Middle made him famous. About two clicks that way is the mining site. Maybe the uh, accident that made him kind of famous and the town hero, maybe that was um, like a cover up for something. But here's the weird part is. I don't. I like Jeb and I do trust Jeb. I was a little worried that there was going to be a little twist there, but Jeb's always presented as a good guy, so I like Jeb. But. um I, why isn't Ryan and Steph with me? Like, I would have been like, we're getting Ryan and Steph. Like, you know what we're doing? Like, of course, a little nervous. We search for we're Ethan, here without five him. clicks that way is town. So we just went five kilometers. I what guess we drove. Thing? Ventilation shaft. They're scattered everywhere. Sure. Over the years, mines grow into mines, creating a labyrinth under Haven. Yeah. What you're searching for is down below. Why don't you just tell me? <gasps> oh, no. Anger. Chad. Oh. Why are you sad? Oh, sad is worse. Oh, no. I'm I know sorry, I saw it coming, kid. too, but then I kept thinking it, it they wouldn't do that. Oh, I just kept thinking, oh, no, I just kept thinking they wouldn't do that. 
it, it to me to me it was obvious and then it and then it became unobvious like 30 seconds before it happened like i changed my mind but but why why didn't oh man why didn't alex insist on getting steph or ryan jed what are you doing i tried to talk you out of it scare you off I was sure those pictures of Ryan and Steph would do the trick. But you were relentless. Won't leave damn well enough alone. You don't have to do this. I do. Twelve years ago, I made a mistake. The kind of thing that you... you can't undo. No. But Typhon made me a deal. A way to save my town. Give my boy a normal life. I never wanted Gabe to get hurt. Go to hell. That was not how I expected that situation to resolve. Um, that's not how I expected that situation to resolve. Um, Okay, let's uh, let's go through the uh, post chapter decisions. Um, okay, I convince Alex to sign Typhoon's affidavit. I let Alex go after she removed his fear. Um, so, seventy three percent of people went the way we did. Um, Alex didn't give anyone the rose. Seven percent. I am in the minority, and the majority gave the rose to Steph. I get that. The Steph romance to me is more convincing than Ryan. Like the game is very much pushing Alex and Steph. Uh, and I'm I'm fine with it. I just I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want her to I just don't want romance in every single game that I play. Uh, Alex didn't sit at the bonfire. Oops. A third of people did not notice the bonfire like me. Alex didn't sit on her couch. Seventy six percent of people. I guess she's just sitting around everywhere. Steph and Alex mused about going to Salem. Um, 22%, so it's literally right in the middle. 24, 22, 21. 33% of people just didn't meet her there, which is really surprising because also the majority of people picked her as a romance. Steph hugged Alex 5%. 5%. I am very much the minority of not wanting a relationship at all, and then let alone with Steph. Um, Ryan didn't meet Alex on the rooftop, 67%. Oh, wait. Wait, if I had done certain things differently, wait, I could have met Ryan on the rooftop? What? Uh, I, I just I missed that opportunity. I guess I guess I could have met both of them on the rooftop at different times. Oh, well, uh, Alex and Charlotte shared a bittersweet moment at the festival. Forty nine percent. OK, I, I was that's basically even. Riley went away to college. Wow. Eighteen percent. Alex revealed her illness and Riley stayed. Riley had had already decided not to go to school. Alex didn't find Riley at the bus stop, 54%. That's actually the minority. So of the people who found her, most of them did what I did. Alex didn't use her powers with Ducky. I didn't even see Ducky. He must have been in the bar. Ducky joined the festival after dancing with Alex. Oh, OK, yeah, he was in the bar. There, Unlike other chapters, there is so much to do in the very beginning. Usually you're kind of stuck into the story, but no. 
Alex helped Jellybean. Yes, did that. Alex didn't talk to the diner buyer. I didn't see the option to talk to him. I did read his mind, but I didn't see the option to talk to him. Alex got the guy and gal friends together. I did. That's a minority. Pike let Alex go. OK. So that's so well, there we go. That's uh, we did it. Uh, well, thank you, everybody. That was chapter four. Um, very much enjoying this game. Uh, continue to enjoy this game. I I want to say Jeb's reaction to the news of us having proof very much felt weird. And then when he brought us out to the middle of nowhere, I was thinking. I was thinking, OK, maybe I'm wrong, maybe that's not happening. But no, it, it, it was happening. <laughs> so thank you, everybody. That's chapter four. And then we continue next time with chapter five.